This ship carries liquefied natural gas inside these spherical tanks. This is the bridge, and this is the cargo control room or CCR, where all operations, cargo loading, discharging, ballasting, deballasting, cargo planning, bunkering, cargo measurements, gas management, all these operations happen in this area. And in this video, we'll cover all the panels and consoles related to these operations. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Mustafa. I'm a ship's captain in these LNG ships. And in this channel, we'll cover life at sea, shipping in general, and LNG knowledge in particular. The first panel is a cargo console where we load and discharge LNG cargo and do gas management. The LNG at minus 160 degrees Celsius is continuously evaporating, so we need to manage the boil off generated from our cargo tanks. And all these operations, we do them in this panel. From these two screens, the chief mate or gas engineer managed loading, discharging operation of the boil of gas. This ship has five tanks. Tank 1, Tank 2, Tank 3, Tank 4, and Tank 5. Let's pause in one tank and see the equipment inside. Each tank has two pumps to discharge cargo. One small pump for tanks or lines cool down called the spray pump, one filling line for loading, and one line for vapor return. These small lines connected to the spray line are the spray nozzles used for tanks cool down, upper, middle, and lower lines. Each tank has the master riser, this one, connected to two relief valves to protect the tank from over or under pressure. Each tank has radar as level indicator, pumps parameters, and tank's pressure. All tanks are connected by one liquid line for loading or discharging, one spray line for cool down, and one vapor line for vapor return. The terminal connects its loading or discharging arms to an area called manifold. It's either in starboard side or port side. These are the main valves in the manifold area. ESD valves, manual double shot valves, and cool down valves. This area that you find in all LNG ships is the gas house or compressor room. Here where you find all the equipment and machineries for gas management. High duty compressors to send the excess of vapor to shore. Low duty compressor to send the boil off to the engine to use it as a fuel. Forcing vaporizer to create vapor in case the boil off is not enough for engine. Two heaters, one to heat the gas for the engines and the other one to heat the vapor during tanks warming up before dry dock. And energy vaporizer to create vapor if the return vapor is not enough from the terminal or during tanks gassing up after dry dock. And this is the emergency shutdown system with the three links, optical, electrical and pneumatic. The second panel is the ballast console. Here where we manage our ballast water. Ballast water is basically the seawater taken into dedicated tanks called ballast tanks in order to compensate the weight in the vessel. Let's say if you are loading LNG cargo, we discharge the water from the ballast tanks and vice versa. If you are discharging LNG cargo, we take the seawater inside these ballast tanks. This operation is performed simultaneously with the cargo loading or cargo discharging. This ship has 26 ballast tanks connected to two lines, starboard and port. These lines are connected to three ballast pumps. In front of this panel, you have the pumps parameters, list and trim indicator, and a screen to monitor the levels. Before you ballast or deballast the seawater, this water is treated and passed through the ballast water treatment system. The third panel is the bunkering console. Here where the chief engineer manages his bunkering operation. Bunkering is the operation of receiving fuel oil or diesel oil to fuel this ship. If you want to know more about this operation, you may check out this video here. Same as the ballast panel. Banker tanks connected to banker line which runs to both starboard and port manifold. The chief engineer performs internal fuel oil transfer using two fuel oil pumps. Keeping an eye on tanks levels. 
all the planning happens in this computer called the Lodicator, Loading Indicator. So before any operation, loading, discharging, ballasting, debalasting, or even bunkering, we do simulation in this computer to make sure that the result of this operation will not affect our stability and will not affect our hull integrity. So this software has the loading manual or the stability booklet inside so to avoid that the chief mate or the operator doing the calculation manually which takes time. This software has all ship's tanks levels fed to it. Cargo tanks, ballast tanks, fuel oil tanks and other tanks. Basis these levels, it gives you the forces and bending moments exerted on the ship's hull and stability criteria. You can even simulate damages to the hull and see what's the stability result. These two screens is the CTMS, Custody Transfer Measurement System. Here where the LNG cargo quantity loaded or discharged is calculated. Even the terminal will rely on this system for the figures and for the quantity transferred. All the cargo tank sensors for level, pressure, temperature are fed to the system. Even the trim and list for accurate measurements of the cargo quantity on board. The system calculates the quantity before loading or discharge, then calculates it again after completion. The difference between the two quantities is the quantity transferred. The CCR has other equipment and panels such as gas detection system, firefighting release box, public address or PA system, couple of phones for communication with terminal, and this important clock to measure the time. Just kidding, this is to check our list. If you want to know more about the sequence of event, how to load or discharge this LNG ship, check out this video here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.